everybody, and welcome to the Nini Show. I'm here with my special guest, Dee Thompson. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming today. Glad to be here. So, Dee Thompson, tell us about yourself. I'm a pop artist. A lot of the art that I do is is a lot of cartoon characters, inspired by like a lot of 90s, you know, themes. A lot of uh, pop culture that I grew up on, like uh, hip hop artists, icons, poli um, politicians, things like that. That's what I usually you know, use with my art. I design, you know, clothes, stuff like that. So to sum it up, I'm pretty much just an all around creative. I'm a dad, you know, I have two sons. So that definitely inspires everything that I do. What are some of the themes in your art? I usually do all, all like cartoon related stuff. Or I use like, I'll do rappers. Stuff that people that, if you see it, you know what it is right off the bat. Like I'm not, one of those artists that do like a bunch of deep thought stuff. Like I want you to be able to see it, you recognize it, and if it looks cool, you know, and it's relatable, you'll like it. Like from a kid who's two years old to someone who's grown, that's the type of stuff that I want to do. I like to keep it simple. Like I like to do stuff that will look cool in my house. How much influence do cartoons have on your work? A lot, because when I grew up, I wanted to be a, an animator. I wanted to have my own um, comic strip. Like cartoons always been big in my life. I still watch cartoons now, but I just feel like everybody can relate to cartoon characters because it has that nostalgic feeling. So whether you like the art or not, you're gonna be like, oh, I remember this cartoon, whether you used to watch it or your kids watch it. I just feel like it's relatable to everybody. So when did you realize that this is what you really wanted to do? I didn't realize it until like recently. I just was kind of doing it off and on. But until my friends was like, yo, you need to take this serious. Like you have a talent. You need to do your own art show because for a long time I've been trying to get my artwork into like galleries in the city. I was getting shot down. It was like, no. So I took my own money. I got my own spot. I did it myself and it, it turned out pretty good. What are some things that you're personally working on? The next art show, we're aiming for like November. We're trying to take steps towards like branding for the love. We're working on the clothing line. We have a pop-up shop in September. So tell us about what For the Love is. For the Love started out as just the name for my art exhibit, because I just felt like that's why I do art. That's why I do anything that I do for the love. Like I don't look for a paycheck. I don't look for to become popular or famous. It's just something that I genuinely love. But it actually became bigger than me as an artist, so we're actually gonna brand it to be something that is a platform for not just myself, but other artists. So it's gonna become a brand name of just an actual event rather than the name of my art show. What role do you feel an artist has in society? Everything from a milk carton to juice container to the color of the car that you drive, the tag inside your shirt, literally anything you look at, somebody designed, an artist put that together so we wouldn't have anything without oh. an artist. So, and that's on all levels, not just visual art, but even the music you listen to, you know, everything. And where do you want your passion to take you? I would like to open my own clothing store. I want to open a gallery one day for other artists, because it's a lot of artists that are dope that don't get the, the time of day because they don't, maybe they don't have the right, you know, credibility or whatever. But these guys deserve, you know, opportunity because a lot of people, they only pay attention to, you know, what everybody else is paying attention to. So I want to open the doors for other people who may not have that shot, who may not have the money to rent out a gallery. So, I mean, those are, are two things that I want to do in the near future. So if you could change one thing about the world, what would it be? The value of money. I think we put a lot of, you know, precedence on the value of money. Like everything is, you know, of course we all got to live, eat, and, but that motivates a lot of people's, you know, intentions. If everybody had, you know, an outlet to make money, you know, somehow, because it's a lot of people who don't have, you know, the resources to do the things that we want to do creatively or just work a nine to five. There's a lot of people out of work. There's a lot of, you know, countries with no money. How much money we spent last year on Christmas? Like, some, some crazy in the billions, and there's like countries with no water, no nothing. It's like we're buying toys and things that we don't need. You know, we all would be in a better space if, you know, we kind of broke bread differently. Like, what if we just, and nobody shopped for this Christmas and we gave that money somewhere else that needed it? Like, that would be kind of crazy. So why should people care about D. Thompson? I mean, Pretty nice guy, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I have something to offer, something that I feel like artistically is, you know, a little different. So, you know, as I grow, I feel like I'll offer more. But, I mean, I'm still in, I'm still progressing, so 
You should care. You should watch. You should pay attention. I think you should. Dee, thank you so much for being with us. And <laughs> tell everybody where they can find your artwork. You can follow me on Instagram at underscore D Thompson. That's D E E T H O M P S O N. Working on my next art exhibit that should be like in November. I have artwork at Stronghold Shop in Roselle Park on Westfield Ave. That's pretty much it for now. Okay, guys, and don't forget to follow me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we do have a lot more coming, so stay tuned.